welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, yeah, it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, that's right, boys. Chris Moore, we're back again. Here we got the GSXR 1000 all set up, the 2020, all back long and strong, ready to go to the racetrack. We're testing because May 15th, yeah, that's right, boys, the battle of the brands. Suzuki versus Kawasaki, Ricky Guts, and we're going head to head, heads up, quarter mile, mano y mano, with Kawasaki versus Suzuki, trying to see what the best potential stock motor bike is. Both of these bikes have every bolt-on accessory you can possibly think of, the best of the best in Kawasaki world and the best of the best of the Suzuki world best of the best riders and we are gonna see what these things are all about May 15th Galat Motorsports Park Benson North Carolina all spectators and fans are welcome we are trying to get Suzuki Nation to show up and show out baby yeah that's right but for today we're loading up we're going to Shadyside Dragway we're gonna do some testing and tuning because Ricky has got his Kawasaki flying we gotta step up our game boys I was a best with an 823 Ricky has just recently went a 821. So we're back testing, trying to top that. Stay with us guys, here we go. You know, this is an eighth mile track. We have been a best of a 522 in the eighth mile. Hopefully we can top that today. We've done a few tweaks and perfect, basically perfecting a few things that we think is gonna make it a little faster. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, here we go, boys. We're back. We got the long swing arm on today. We're ready to have some fun. Shady side dragway, the weather is perfect. We got a big crowd out here. I don't know if you can see them in front of us, but there's more Mafia Caden up there. 12 years old on the Ninja 250. He hammered down and gone. Alright, so we got the back they did clutch in here. Let's see how it works. We've never ran with this clutch before with the long swing arm. I took it and tested it the other day at my drag race school and I like the way it felt. Real nice and smooth. Actually way better than stock. Let's see how it does. About 7,500 on the launch. was dead on the gearing felt good this clutch doesn't bite quite as hard as the uh, stock one which is uh, why everybody puts it in there it's smoother so anyways it take me a minute to learn how to ride it I feel like it can maybe use some more spring pressure the stiffer the springs are in the clutch the more bite and hit it's gonna have off the line now with a short swing arm you don't always want that let's see how fast we went first pass ever back in a while 530 flat 131 60 foot so like i said that was a little too soft 134 miles an hour so that's pretty stout there let's uh go back try to stiffen this clutch up a little bit or i could try to ride it a little different i don't know i'm gonna make that decision here in just a second and uh we'll see how we do all right guys so 530 flat after the first pass 134 miles an hour super strong miles per hour 
but only a 13060 foot. That is not quite good enough. I rode the bike hard, but the clutch is not aggressive enough. So in other words, we had it set up for the short swing arm and that's what you want. Nice, easy, and smooth. But with this long swing arm, I need this thing to hit and really rip out of the hole. So right now, me and Mike are about to pull the clutch cover off on this thing, put some more Brock's Performance shims behind the clutch springs to make those springs stiffer. Let's see what that does for our 60 foot on the next pass. Challenger here, Skull. Skull is on a mini bike. This thing is 460 cc's. He's actually got a bigger engine than Caden, but we're gonna still try him heads up because Caden, he, he's a little bit lighter. So we're gonna try him out and see what happens. Who you guys like, Caden or Skull?
guys, we're back in the staging lane. Caden said he's ready this time. He said it was close, real close. You guys just saw the video. He said it was about a bike-ish. We're gonna see what happens. He said he can turn it up, leave a little harder this time. He said he was running them down. We're gonna see if Skull's got enough to hold them off this time. at 69 miles per hour but the main thing winner winner chicken dinner bye bye mini bike so anyways we may end up doing the best two out of three it's one and one with Caden right now and then the TSXR 1000 we're starting to get it dialed in now boys I'm learning that clutch a little bit 125 60 foot 340 524 to 135 miles an hour that's getting close to being where we need to be at boys we're gonna try to hit this clutch a little harder. I crept the RPMs up a little higher that time by accident, but that actually showed me I need to turn it on up and let her eat a little bit more. So me and Caden, we're going back around in a few minutes. They talked us into making one more pass. Boys, we gonna make it happen. All right, guys, they're lined up for the final pass of the day. This is the championship round. We got Skull versus Caden. 250 versus a 460. Big block mini bike. This is one of the baddest mini bikes I've ever seen. They've had some close matchups today. How many other kids we got out there racing? How many kids watching the channel are racing? How many kids watching the channel want to race? You gotta tell your mama and daddy you gotta have a bike. Whether it be a mini bike, Ninja 250, dirt bike, whatever you got, talk to your mom and dad. Get them to the drag strip, guys.
pull back in. He edged out the mini bike skull rider. <laughs> oh man, by a smish. If it would have been side by side, guys, it would have been a photo finish. So super good job, Caden. What, second, third, fourth day at the track? Boom, Caden with the win, time slip. There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe. May 15th, Galat Motorsports Park. It is going down. Benson, North Carolina, all the fans. Bye-bye, COVID. We are putting on a show. May 15th is going down, guys. Check us out, moremafia.com. There's more details on the race. You can also pick up some merch there, whether you want a hat, shirt, stickers, whatever you need, hoodies, we got it all. And right now, the giveaway is still going on. Uh oh, more mafia tune, there you go. <laughs> now we're doing a giveaway and uh, let's see, Not next Sunday is the cutoff for the giveaway, guys. If you wanna get in, it's a free ECU flash. If you don't have a motorcycle, if you don't have an ECU to be flash, if you already had your ECU flash, $200 cash. All you gotta do for every $5 you spend on the website, you get two free chances to win. All you gotta do, pick out some merch, you get entered to win, you might win yourself 200 bucks. Thanks for watching, guys. Ricky Gatson, I'm coming for you, buddy. All right, man, see you.